Today I'm taking a look at the diagnostic leak detector. So we got our manual. We got an adapter. So you'll hook the smoke machine up to this side and with this cone, you can fit that to a port that looks like it's around one inch to about four inches. So that way you can just mash this guy in and you can fill up that chamber with smoke. Here we got a long flexible tube. We have a container for our oil. We got our hanging hook and then we have a nozzle. Here are our power cables. If you're gonna be under the hood anyway, you can just use the power directly from the battery in order to power this guy. And here is the smoke machine. We got a couple of LED indicators on here. We got our on off switch, we got our power port, and it says this will output 19 to 23 PSI, eight liters per minute. On the top, we got our fill for the container and we got our connector for the tubing. So I'm gonna take the tubing, throw the crush nut on top of that, push the tubing onto the barb, and then thread that on. So the key to getting good smoke is to get a good mineral oil. If you get a poor quality mineral oil, it'll just kind of make a fog and you can still use that. But ideally you want kind of a wispy smoke, something that's going to create lines in the air that almost point to where the problem is. So I use 13 chefs. Right here it says to use 30 milliliters to fill this. So we can see this is a graduated bottle. So I'm going to take this up to 30 milliliters. And that is all we're going to use to fill this machine. And then if you want to hang it up, just thread the hook on. And wherever you're comfortable with that, you can tighten down that nut. It's the only thing that I always wish that they would make is one that is AC powered, so I could just hook this up to a normal household outlet, but that does not happen. What you can get around that is you can use a power supply like this. Just set it to 12 volts and supply power. We do have power and you can kind of see we are starting to produce smoke. So if we let this run for a while, the longer it runs, the more smoke it is going to make. Yeah, so that thing actually started up pretty darn quick. So you'll be able to fill up your engine bay or your, uh, your chamber, whatever it is that you got, and that will easily point to where your problem is. So that guy, that is pretty awesome.